This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have a great tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at NetRipper. NetRipper is a post-exploitation tool and performs API-based traffic sniffing to capture plain text data before it is passed to encryption routines. It supports PuTTY, WinSCP, Link, Outlook, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and more. This tool is written in PowerShell, C, and C++, and was developed by Ionat Popescu, who is at NitroRST on Twitter. Now you're probably wondering how to use this tool. Well, take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will learn how to capture confidential credentials in plain text using the NetRipper tool. We have now downloaded and extracted the tool. As this is a post-exploitation tool, we are going to assume a breach. Hence, we already have a meterpreter shell of the target machine. Next, let's interact with the meterpreter session and check all the running processes. We can observe that Firefox is running on the target machine. Let's upload NetRipper DLL and executable in the temp directory and start a command prompt shell to check the NetRipper.exe help options. Now we need to generate a sample DLL file to inject into the Firefox process. The W option defines the DLL path, the L option defines the output directory for the logs, P option instructs the tool to only capture the plain text traffic, and finally the D option defines the capture size limit, and S option defines strings of our interest, which in this case are user and pass. After generating a new DLL named configure.dll, let's inject it into the Firefox process using the NetRipper tool. Now to simulate user activity, switch to the target machine, open paypal.com and log into it. The tool should capture the credentials and store it in the logs in the temp directory. Now let's switch to the attacker machine and download the NetRipper logs to the local directory. If we open the Firefox write data text file, we can observe a captured username and password for the user's PayPal account. Based on our demo, some people might be wondering why this tool is important because the credential stealing can also be done by using the Keylogger post-exploitation module. However, imagine a scenario where a script running on the browser is sending data over HTTPS. Now, in that case, we would need this tool in order to sniff out the data in plain text. Well, that's all the time that I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. Do you have an open source tool that you would like to appear on the show? Then send us the GitHub link at our email address at media at pentesteracademy.com for consideration. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Want to learn about another tool? Then click on any of these videos right over here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos.